Okay guys, here's a tiny home, around 200 square feet, with a nice little cozy front porch uh, with like a covered area. See how it's covered, get you out of the rain. And it's got nice wood decking, very nice, very nice window. I love the light blue paint color of the siding with the white accent on the door and molding. So very nice. Let's take a look inside this small 200 square foot tiny home. Okay, This is an unfinished unit. So you have windows on both sides for great cross ventilation. And you have an attic space for like a loft sleeping area where you can put a ladder. I did a separate video on a 300 square foot tiny home, uh, which had a little bit more space, two of those attics. But this one is really cozy. Uh, definitely have enough space up there to make that like a master bedroom. Uh, you certainly could make the bedroom on the first floor here too as well. Um, but you, you finish this how you want. You know, if you were elderly or handicapped, you may want the bedroom on the first floor. You may just use that as storage. The beauty of this is it's uh, just a raw structure. You will do the plumbing, the electric, uh, the sheetrock, etc., or you hire someone. Or if you have unrestricted land, you'll plop this down. You could live off the grid and just put a bucket <laughs> for a bathroom and, you know, run a, a generator. Uh, you know, you can live as primitive as you want. Remember that in a first world country, all of us have become accustomed to having laundry, hot water, uh, multiple bathrooms, multiple sinks. But remember, most of human civilization, they live very primitive. So you don't have to have all those things. I mean, I've lived five years on the road out of a car. I recently bought a, a piece of property by the beach where I live out of an RV, 300 square feet. And you don't need much. There's also a little attic space up there. You could make it a sleeping quarters, but that's probably more for storage. But I love that front porch. I love this 200 square foot tiny home that again, you would have to put the electric, the water, uh, the insulation, the sheetrock, but you have the structure, okay? And you have everything you need. Here's your keys to start your life on your tiny home living. So if you could see yourself living in this tiny home, leave a comment below and let me know. Now the key, like all these tiny home things are you need the property that the municipality, the township allows under a thousand square foot home uh, and then any other uh, rules that you know a lot of the townships enforce so this would be considered a shed for most townships and you need a home on the property and this would be a shed but this is a tiny home but you'd, you'd have to find unrestricted land that allows you to live out of this not just use it as a shed beautiful cute love this 200 square foot tiny home and I love the fact that you know, you can make it what you want and you can keep it as simple as you want or you can, you know, deck it out and make it very luxurious. But if you had a piece of property and if you had some creativity, tin roof here, those tin roofs, they say last 30, 50 years. Uh, love the color on this. Okay. Everything you need, guys, to live a great life, simple life, house on the prairie life. Very cute and inspiring, very simple. It's the back of the unit here. Again, tin roof. So leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts on this tiny home. Subscribe if you're not. Click that super thanks if this really inspired you. Uh, share the video with your friends, family, and uh, I'll keep making more videos. So this is a 200 square foot tiny home. This was a 300 square foot tiny home I made another video of. So either way, guys and girls, I just like to keep you motivated, inspired, informed, give you visual inspiration to live a non-conforming life. But you do have to conform with townships. So you do have to find property that legally allows you to live out of this. That's the key. And that'll probably put you out in the country land. So, uh, but if you, if you had a regular house and you wanted to make this like a mother-in-law suite, that's the exception. That's how you get a, you know through the loophole. So something to think about if you have a property, if you have a little single family home, put this on here and you know, make it a guest house.
you know, very, you know, maybe even Airbnb it. There you go. Now you're thinking creative. Now you're making money. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.